Good morning and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life and we're actually hitting the road today. So Friday night, Warren shot a nice deer, a nice big buck. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Good. I, do you think you're even going to need a coat? It's not yes. that. Well, take it. Okay. It is actually like 45 degrees right now. <laughs> Friday afternoon. All right, Warren was just correcting me because what I said was that he shot the deer Friday night. Well, obviously he did not shoot it Friday night. He shot it Friday, and but it was Friday night that we were actually, um, like he was hanging it and just all, all the things that go along with, with, with deer hunting. So yesterday, Warren and Peter, does he already, oh, he already has it in here. Okay, well yesterday Warren and Peter cut all of the meat off the bone because this was a big buck. It's a 10 point buck and we just thought it would be a good one to take in to have processed. So I'm just going to show you guys if I can get this. So they cut all of the meat off the bone and we have about 60 pounds of boneless meat here in this cooler and it's been a number of years since we've taken in meat to have we love brat patties we also sorry for the changing light but i'm outside and it's joe you gotta sit in the back i'm riding in here today he thinks he's in the front seat um we'll either do hot sticks or just venison sticks um brat patties oh and then some sausage as well yes what come on <laughs> you want the camera? You're so funny. What? Well, let me check about one and about me and my stand, please. I know, I know. You're going to go in a deer stand with Dad. You're correct. Okay, so those are the things that we really want to have made. And it's been a long time, so I'm really, really excited. We used to always take the first bow kill of the year in and have things processed and then all the deer all the gun season deer we would process here, you know, steaks, roasts, and hamburger, stew meat, mini roasts, all those types of things. So that is what's on tap for today. He also wants to get a European mount done of the head. And so we're going to take that up to the taxidermist. So come along. So when you go Yummy. into a meat butcher shop, like a full service one, oh my goodness, I am a sucker yeah. for all oh the extras. Warren picked out, Warren picked out some beef sticks, and they had Colby cheese on sale, that so we got a round so of that. Good. It was so good. They gave us a sample. Of course, we have to go with the Amish candies. I'm always a sucker for the spice blends. That one just sounded so good. Really? Mm -hmm. You got some good genetics down there, don't you? Yeah, good. It's, it's got some mass. You could use a little longer times. But... Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, let me see. It's a, it's a buffalo. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the grouse. Oh, that's a rock. This is a raw goose. Oh, cool. Very tiny. And then you got the. Mallard. Mm-hmm. Look at the pheasant. Mm -hmm. pheasant? Look pretty. Woodcock. Woodcock. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would not want to see that in the woods. Yeah, look at the moose. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at the porcupine rug. Porcupine rug? Oh look, it's the well, state neat. of Australia. Oh yeah. Oh, How cool is that? Oh, what? what is that? Why is that like that? <laughs> they put the turkey on some antlers. But it has no... Right? Oh, that's a canvas bath. Well, it's definitely been a, a guy's day out, right? We've been going to all the guy's stores today. I mean, not that, not that we're not enjoying it, too. Yeah. We did get a laugh, though. We just went out for lunch at a cafe, mm -hmm. which is like totally totally a dad style restaurant, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And <laughs> we think he got the senior discount. <laughs> and he's like, what did he say? Did you hear what he said? Mm -mm. He's like, white beard strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, let's not knock that over. That would make a really loud sound. 
Yeah, it would. Oh, look it. Now we're talking. Yeah. They got clothes. They got clothes now. <laughs> they got something to look at that's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, I mean. Boots? Boots. Wool socks? Oh. Alpaca wool. Oh, I love these socks. Look at these ones. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Remember last night I made the chicken noodle soup for today, and this is how it's uh, dishing up. Mm. Yum, yum. Oh, I'm like really zoomed in. Yum, yum. Before we continue with the week, I'd like to take a moment to thank Birch for sponsoring today's video. Birch mattresses are crafted with sustainably sourced organic and natural materials, wool, cashmere, and cotton. Each are used to bring out the best in temperature regulation, comfort, and breathability. Birch mattresses are U.S. assembled right in Arizona, allowing each mattress to be closely monitored for quality. Depending on mattress size, up to 1,000 individually wrapped coil springs create a medium firm feel with hip and lumbar support. We've found that the coils provide a good amount of resistance, making it easier to push yourself up and out of bed in the morning. We have the Birch Lux with the upgraded pillow top, which has over 130 five-star reviews. The Birch Natural has over 1,400 five-star reviews and was just awarded the best mattress of 2023 by U.S. News out of over 340 mattresses. I'm most impressed with the use of natural materials and ease of setup. Well, I did have Warren and Peter to do the heavy lifting. They also offer in-home setup and removal to make your buying experience as convenient as possible. I love my Birch mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch Living. Their Black Friday sale is running now, so it's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off a Birch mattress plus two free EcoRest pillows. Your mattress will ship free right to your door and you will get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. That's right, you have 100 nights to sleep. See if you like the mattress before making your final decision. Visit birchliving.com slash country life to find out more about this limited, limited time offer. That's right, it's birchliving.com slash country life. To learn about their Black Friday sale. Thanks again to Birch for sponsoring today's video. Well, all right, it's actually a couple days later. I thought I was going to do a whole week in the life here, and I mean, sometimes it just seems like there really isn't a whole lot to film because we were just doing school yesterday and laundry, and you guys have seen that over and over and over again. I mean, that is life. It's like not every day is something brand new and exciting. Um, today, the excitement is this. I left my lunch here, so we had a big day of piano lessons, and then tryouts, auditions for a play, and then homeschool co-op, and we had packed lunches, and the kids all remembered theirs, and I forgot mine. So my little pony lunch bag just um, was sitting on the cupboard on the counter all day. Uh, but we're home. I'll probably eat some of that. Um, some of that. I ended up actually stopping at IGA and I picked up two little deli salads uh, for lunch, which both were actually very good. It was one was a potato salad and the other one was like a dilly pickle kind of zesty sort of a, I think it was like a pasta salad. I don't know. It had a lot of little vegetables and some cheese and it was really good, very spicy. Then I picked up some lunch meat, just lunch meat and then Maria and I and Joe split that. Peter didn't want any of that. So so I did a thing and I bought a new rug. I'm going to get this rolled out. You guys know how the black rug has kind of been my nemesis. All right, I think I'm making a shadow. Oh, we have like a limbo. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. How's that? Hey, you <laughs> Got a limbo stick. Well, this is pretty cool. I, I like it. I was a little concerned that it could potentially be like too minty or, um, but it is kind of a nice sage green because I'd like to start bringing some green into open. our uh, living room. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you like We're this? Limboing. Mama, can you okay. hold it? I'll hold it. Okay, so we gotta hold it really high at first. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. 
Now you have to go grab it from Peter and then you go under quickly. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so Joe won something today. He won this, um, wow. Come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that makes a good spark, doesn't it? He won this bracelet. I actually it's got kind a of paper like a, towel to light with it. You did, huh? Yeah, it's all burnt up. Okay. Yeah, it's a paracord, paracord bracelet, and it clicks together and you just take it apart, and it has flint and steel right here. Mm -hmm. And then a compass. And then a little compass on it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. We're just going to pick up the video right here. I think I started thinking I was going to do a week in the life. Don't I say that all the time? I'm going to do a week in the life. And then I start on Monday or something and I'm going strong. And then Tuesday I forget. And Wednesday we're just busy and doing so many things with lots of people. And then whatever. Here we are. It's Friday morning. It is only 8.15, but we have just been going, going, going. I think Warren and I both woke up at 5 o'clock this morning, and we were out. We had some coffee. Um, we all took a little dip in the hot tub, and... Oh, I got a new vacuum cleaner. So remember when I shared all those codes with you guys from Amazon? I've been getting these codes as an affiliate... Um, marketer I guess for like super deals and I ended up buying that vacuum cleaner the cordless vacuum cleaner I charged it up overnight and I used that this morning really really like it it has a light on it and so normally when I vacuum the hardwood floor I use just the wand from my Kirby vacuum cleaner there's no light on that part um, but with this one, there's a light, so you can see all of the dirt, um, which is good and bad. Bad this morning because I was like, wow, I did not realize there was that much, like, just dust in the corners on the floors and everything. I don't think it's great on the rugs. I did use it on like little area rugs, but on the black rug, and maybe it was because it was losing its charge, because then by the time I got into like the kitchen, I was like, it's just not sucking right. Well, I emptied out the canister, which was already completely full. Um, and then I, it, and then all of a sudden it just like died, just like that. And I was like, okay, I see. So it must've been kind of wearing down. So we'll try it on the black rug again, see how that goes. Because I think I did mention to you that I bought a new rug, that is going back. I don't like it. It just does not go, it is not the right color at all in this um, room, so it's going. Anyway, here's what we're doing. I have this little drawer system that the kids have had for years and years with art supplies in it. I am just going through it. There is so much in here that we don't need. I don't know why this is the thing I decided that I had to do today, but I just did. Sometimes, do you guys get like that where you know there's bigger things that need to be done, but sometimes just accomplishing something like this that's like almost a no-brainer for me. I can easily go through papers and coloring books and markers and things like that and just pitch what we don't need. All right, heading down to the garden again to get a couple of carrots. I think my days are numbered though of keeping the carrots in the garden. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna grab a couple of carrots. I want to make a new recipe called Sunshine Muffins. I think that's what it's called, or Good Morning Muffins, something like that. They sound basically like, like a carrot cake style muffin where they have bits of carrot and pineapple. It calls for golden raisins, but I'm going to use dried cranberries. Yeah, so I just thought that would be kind of something to try. And I always like to have muffins on the morning when all the hunters are going out on opening morning. Did I tell you that tomorrow is opening day of gun season? I actually said to the kids this morning when we were in the hot tub, I said, I don't want any lip, you guys, but we are going to take the day off of school. And they were just kind of like looking at me, are you, are, are you, are you serious, mom? I was like, yes, we have so much to do to get ready. And 
you know, just for hosting people. And you would think that there isn't really that much. I mean, everybody brings all the things that they need, but you know, there's just areas of the house that need to be cleaned up where there's gonna be mattresses and things like that. So there's a lot to do. And let's see what we got here. Okay, there's one nice carrot. I've just been going down and pulling just in order whatever's next. I feel like I should pull one more. Whoa, that is gonna be a, whoops, okay. Got a small one here. And then that one. Oh shoot, the ground is getting so hard from being dry again. There, oh, I bet I busted it. Darn it, look at that. Shoot. Okay, this is enough. This is enough. Way more than I need for the muffins, but I will wash these up. I will just eat them fresh. So I checked and these muffins are called morning glory muffins. <laughs> I had it wrong. But anyway, they have pecans and cinnamon and nutmeg and crushed pineapple and carrots. And we're going to do cranberries instead of golden raisins. First up, what I have to do, well, not first up, I guess second, because I already grated those carrots. It calls for toasted pecans. So what I need to do is chop up one cup of pecans, put them onto a cookie sheet, and then it just says to um, like bake them for about five minutes to toast them up. Okay, who wants to chop pecans? Right I, I said it first. I need this full. This full. full. Okay. And then you just pour them right onto there when it's full, okay? So you can go anywhere you want to grind. I'll go right. Maria, what it says is to combine the flour, the salt, the baking soda, ground cinnamon, and nutmeg. Are you reading along with me here? Mm -hmm. In a large bowl make a well in center of the mixture. So we'll just mix everything in the KitchenAid bowl here. Okay. A half teaspoon of nutmeg. A teaspoon of cinnamon. Teaspoon of baking soda. Two cups of flour. One teaspoon salt. And three cups of flour. All right, that's everything. <laughs> All I got to do is flour because there's so much. That's uh, okay. There'll be more things to do. All right. What I'm what I'm going to do is just whisk this together to get all those spices up from the bottom. Oh, it smells so good. Yep, and then it says to make like a well in the center. Whisk together sugar. Canola. Canola oil, eggs, and vanilla. Full and vanilla. Okay. okay, so you gotta whisk those things together. Can you bring a five pound bag of flour over too? Yes, you're gonna need oil. I see that Warren is in a precarious situation. Probably it's not precarious, but it could be precarious, okay? One thing with the day before deer season that we find is that it turns into all the projects that you've been wanting to get done, and it's like, okay, we're gonna get those done. So let's just turn this around. Hey, I'm gonna film you. He can't hear me. <laughs> so this light bulb up here has needed to be changed for a while. And what happens is that when all the hunters come back, they all congregate right down here. And he's like, I really have to do that. But it's not really something he likes to do because, you know, it is just a bit dangerous. Are you sure the switch is on? Let me go try it. Well, this isn't good. Put in a brand new light bulb and it doesn't work. 
Okay, trying the second light bulb. Nope. Okay, we're gonna go back to the original light bulb. Now he uses the tractor like a jungle gym. <laughs> it's like a jungle gym. They're gonna go and do a little investigation with the wiring and test out the light bulbs. Maybe both light bulbs were bad light bulbs. I mean, what would be the chance of that? But anyway, Maria and I are gonna head back in and finish up with those muffins. I did not have the crushed pineapple. I thought I did, but I didn't. So we just used pineapple chunks and I just ran the knife through it and basically just crushed it. You need to use the juice and the crushed pineapple from an eight ounce can. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. We're gonna get this poured in. Yep, pour just that in. Like into the well? Yeah, just right in there, that's fine. Cause we're just gonna fold it So we gotta get all of that out of there. All right, we'll clean that up here. I gotta put the camera down though. Oh, <gasps> dry ingredients are surface. That's okay. Yeah. Just so like the dry ingredients are mixed in with the wet. Yep. Ooh, those are pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's hot pan. It's kind of warm. It's hot. All right. Cranberries. Those are really delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I know you probably don't think so, huh? I don't know. I'm not really, I don't really like muffins that have a ton of stuff in it. Can I put them in the tin? Yep. being extra muffin batter beyond the 24 muffins that it was supposed to make. So I did make eight minis here. It also says that these should be in the oven at 350 degrees for 23 to 25 minutes. I feel like that's gonna be too long. So I'm going to be checking these at probably 17 minutes and then I can always let them go longer. But once they're overbaked, they're overbaked and you cannot bring them back. <laughs> always watch that with muffins, um, especially if you're using like a dark pan. You know, this is such an old pan and it's so very dark that they also get done faster. This little timer that I got from Timu, I know you can get these anywhere, um, but this has come in handy so many times. We've used it for school. I use it for baking because I never hear my microwave timer. If I want to just use the microwave as a kitchen timer, you know, like I, I need two timers going in the kitchen, I never hear the microwave one. So I've been in the habit of bringing this one in here and using it. It always works so great. It has a really nice high pitched sound and you never miss it. <laughs> I am going to just get some of this stuff cleaned up here. Peter is my dishes guy for today. So he's going to uh, put away the clean dishes already. Then I need to do laundry. <laughs> They're really good. Mm -hmm. And already between Joe, Maria, and me. <laughs> that's all that's left of the minis. They're so good warm. Mm. That little touch of nutmeg. It was. It's not too much nutmeg. With butter. Oh, we put a little butter on the muffin. So, so delicious. All right, and now for that. That all needs to be folded. We transfer the towels into the dryer and probably start another load. So I have a little bit of barbecued 
pulled pork left and I thought I would make a pulled pork pizza. I've had those at, I've had something like this at Polito's. It was really good and I thought maybe that would be good for at home too. So here is a half a pound of mozzarella shredded. I have some red onion, that is from our garden. And then I have my yeast blooming over here. It's looking really good. And I just have to add in just over two and a half cups of flour and three fourths teaspoon of salt to get that all mixed up, get that uh, rolled out and onto a nice large pan. And we're going to figure out the toppings as we go. All right, I just completely forgot that I have cast iron pizza pans in the cupboard. Totally forgot, and I already have my pan sprayed and cornmealed, so I'm just gonna have to go with it like this. <laughs> went in all the freezers. I found the pork in the chest freezer in the garage. I dug through the whole box. Yes, and I didn't see any package. bacon? Not one. I put the pizza crust in the oven at 500 degrees for four minutes to pre-bake it up just a bit. Um, then once I took it out, I just put a little bit of butter on it, some barbecue sauce. I put the shredded pulled pork on it, along with red onions, topped it with the mozzarella cheese, and I put it back in the oven, 500 degrees, on the bottom rack, because I really want the crust to get crunchy, if possible, uh, without the cheese getting too dark. Pizza is done. Is that going to be crunchy? I think so. When I look at the bottom, it has some nice crunch to it. Are you waiting patiently for lunch? <laughs> Joe, I'd like you to get cups and milk. Okay, and first is fish Merry Christmas and <laughs> hobby just getting and hunt tonight. And hunting tonight. Well, and we won't be the hunting tonight. It'll be tomorrow, but tonight everybody starts showing up, right? Yep. have already been eaten. We already got acorns on here. <laughs> of course. So you're probably wondering what this is. This is my backrest. Dad's got a backrest this year, huh? Huh? A backrest this year. Yep. Never seen that before. No, it's actually leftover from an old tree stand. Uh -huh. So I'm repurposing it. Where's the other one? Oh, <laughs> you can have it. Peter already oh, stole it. it. No. It's alright. 
just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. You take that. What no. if it tucks underneath? It's finally time to take the cushions off. And look at all the leaves. It's like it always turns into just a tornado, a leaf tornado in this uh, back, on our back patio. That's one thing when we put the patio on. I mean, we didn't know that that's what it was going to turn into, but all the time, all the time. Blow the leaves out and the leaves come back. All right, well, it's that time. It's time to lay out our blaze. Mine is actually still just hanging in the same spot it was last year. Uh, looks good, looks like it's ready to go. I do need to find some snow pants though. Is there anywhere else you want me to vacuum? Uh, wherever you want to vacuum. You can vacuum anywhere you want. <laughs> Your room, my room, the bathroom, the main bathroom, all okay. along the edge of the little like entryway. It's time to get up my backpack. Where did you put the shells after we sighted it? The zebra zebra backpack? Okay. All right, so. Got a knife. Got a flashlight. Let's make sure that one works. Yep, I checked. I just want to get some more hand warmers. I'm taking all this down in the basement to get ready for tomorrow morning. Okay, do you have like blaze jacket? I don't know what you have on your chin here. Fuzz or? Oh, my blaze in there. It's already downstairs? No, in. in oh, well, okay, so I saw a neck gator down there. Is that yours? That blaze and camo neck gator? Well, here's the long-awaited time, right? Laying out all the snacks that mom and and I think even dad might have picked up a few along the way. <laughs> all the snacks for a deer hunting lunch, as we call it. I don't know, right? Lunch. <laughs> I don't know why. Plus we... a sandwich. We Are you? Put a sandwich in. Otherwise, chicken noodle soup. Uh, you don't like that? No, because okay. it, all the noodle. Yeah. Get, floats to the bottom of my thermos. They float to the bottom? Well, they sink to the bottom <laughs> of the thermos and then they get all mushy and then the last little bit is just like water Can mush. I, that I see. I'm going hunting? Yes, I, gave, I brought you a bag here. Yes. See ya. Yeah, so we do have oh. lunch meat and cheese and cheese it. sticks and we have some other things too, so. And chicken noodle soup. So I guess that is technically the lunch part, right? Yep. Maria, do you want to get a few um, plastic spoons to bring over here for anybody who wants? Can I have one right now? Just one? Yeah. Okay. Why? I don't know. Who does that? That one. Oh. Crunch. If it'll come out. I thought this was going to be your lunch bag. It will be. Oh, it will be. You're just getting started with the Ziploc bag yeah. though, huh? Yeah. So eat it down. You'll replenish a little bit. Yep. Mm-hmm. But you, but you have to get your stuff now, otherwise it'll all be it'll gone. All, be gone. <laughs> all of it will be gone. So oh, yeah. So we're just waiting for some friends to come. They were going to be providing a supper meal for tonight. It's going to be our family, and then their family. Most of the other hunters won't get here until much later tonight, eight, nine, maybe even ten o'clock tonight. Um, but we had like our first. Well, other than, other than the light bulb situation, <laughs> which. I never mentioned what the problem was. No. You don't want to mention what the problem <laughs> <No>. was? <laughs> Warren, he got that light bulb and everything all working, right? Yep, it's yeah. working. I didn't even see it turned on. We'll have to turn it on here tonight. But 
we got a text looks like, um, from our cousin. What? Looks like they're coming out right now. Oh, okay. We got a text from our cousin that he needed his chair since he's going to get up here late. He needs his chair taken out to his stand. Well, un unknowingly, we let Nick take that chair to his stand. So now we are in the dark heading back to do a little chair trading. Um, but we'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, off to the next stand. Yep. All right, well, we have no light. <laughs> Get my flashlight. That's okay. Let's see that you've got that. Boy, maybe I should get in there and why didn't you put it in in Good morning Peter. Morning. Peter's got everything he needs. I see the Gatorade hanging out the side of the backpack. Gatorade. Is this yours? Mm -hmm. Right here. Some hot chocolate? Yep. All right, we almost burnt it. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of bad news to start the morning. Yeah. That's not true. Where'd you get this whole Blaze outfit? I don't even feel like we've ever, I've ever seen this one before. <laughs> from where? Downstairs. From downstairs? <laughs> Probably a hand-me-down from someone, huh? I don't know. It's nice. You're hot. Yeah. Good luck, I know, everybody, everybody gets so yeah. hot right away in the morning. Yep, good luck. Yeah, I think Warren can stay in the woods for a week with all that food. <laughs> no, <it's> too much! <laughs> That's cute. That was cute. <laughs>